Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you see, um, I do have a new intro for um, videos, like just regular life videos. So, um, if it's Najog related, I have a different intro for that. And if it's like gaming, I have an intro for that. So, but no intros for blogs. No intros for blogs. Um... But this is going to be this episode one of my, well, the 2018-2019 videos were episodes one and two. So episode three, technically, but this is actually the, it was sort of a pre-trial run. You know what I mean? Those were a pre-trial one, kind of like how season 11 was a trial run. Yeah. <sighs> but you guys voted on my Twitter and to see which story would you like to hear. And y'all guys voted for the two best school trips I have been. All right, yeah, and these when I was in public public school, so no online school tricks because obviously that's not even a thing. Okay, the first one happened when I was in the fifth grade, so around um, twenty thirteen, I think. Twenty thirteen, I think. I think around twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. Um, and it, we went to the Science Museum of Virginia. And, oh, my God. It was so good. It was so good. Like, literally, when you walk in, there's, like, a swinging pendulum and trying to knock over wooden pegs. And whenever it does knock over a wooden peg, everyone would just clap. Everyone would just clap because they because it takes an extremely long time to make it knock over a single peg. Um, and it takes, like, days just to knock them all down or something like that. From what I saw, there's, like, a little card that shows you how much time it takes to do this, how much time it takes to do that. And when I stepped in, I knew, I knew this was the this was a very going to be a very good trip. They have elevators. There's elevators in the science museum. So we went down, and I joked about how we were going into the deep, dark abyss. <laughs> back in the fifth grade um so we went to several different rooms some of them i don't remember but i'm gonna tell you the ones that i do remember the ones i do remember there um sometimes if you have like a packed lunch which i hate having packed lunches or school lunches those are disgusting on field trips they're disgusting just don't just starve yourself um there was this room, and that's where we all eat. We were just like, nom, 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 that's where we eat. Um, then there's the room um, in which it's it's a dome. It's like a dome, and you can watch like uh, sort of like one of those IMAX movies where it's like it's not really a movie. It's only like I think forty five minutes, but it like immerses you into like space and shit. What? Well, the fifth grade one was in space. The second time it was in there, it was something else entire, entirely. I forgot exactly what it was. I, I think it was something to do with natural disasters, but that's barely all my memory. So then uh, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. But my all-time favorite room, my all-time favorite room in the Science Museum was the boost room. The boost room is basically the room where it's test both physically, your physical, and your mental status, basically. Um, there is a sort of like a, a tightrope thing. It's not really a rope. It's like a steel bar that you have to walk up on, and you have to do it really fast and see how much time you get. And there's also a card, so you scan the card in, and it tells you, hey, you want to play this, blah, blah, blah. And there's another one where you had to jump as high as you can and tap the wall or smack the wall, see how high you could jump, and it acts how high you jumped. Uh, then uh, there was um, a, a game where you had to hand-eye coordination, where you had to tap the lights as fast as possible. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Then there was a one where you had to, there was a mic in the room and you had to test your voice. You, you get selected a random key and you had to sing that key for whatever long time it is. And that I can never do that. There was 
another game in which uh, it was just playing musical notes where you could just press buttons and you could actually force the musical notes to tap. Um, so, yeah. Then there was also a memory game in which it says, was this the last picture that you saw? And you say yes or no. I was a god at that game. And there was also a game where it was like a short-term memory and you had to pick out which ones were which spots. Uh, and then there was a random, how happy are you feeling today, meter, for some reason. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But they didn't add this in the first go-around, but when I went back there, there was a cooking session. I was, I'm not a cooker. I don't cook. I don't ever plan to. I mean, I could, but I'd fail miserably. I'd be like Cole when he cooks. Not that good. <laughs> but yeah, and there above it was like a trivia thing, and and there was like buttons against some of those seats, so you could just press the buttons and see which is the correct answer and shit. Uh, oh yeah, and there was a gift shop in there. Oh, I remember another room. It was I remember this was fun. A lot of people there was like a floating earth on it, and yet everyone was like messing around with the earth and stuff like that. Um, and there was like a block of room, and there, as I said, there was a gift shop in there. Um, so eh, that was cool. That was so cool, I guess. Uh, so that was the Science Museum of Virginia. Love that place, and it really should be like what the modern education ship education system revolves around, which is immersion, not just do this, do that, do this, do that. Immersion. Um, then there was King's Dominion, which happened in 2017. And the irony of these two trips is that both of them were in the same course, was the same core, correct core class, which was science. Well, one was regular science and the other was physical science, but whatever. But it was a physical, physical science trip and we went to King's Dominion. I, I heard great things about King's Dominion. So then, uh... So then, uh, we got there. We had to do our little science stuff. Um, but once we finished it, we had the rest of the day to ourselves. And, oh, my Lord, was it awesome. I rode a bunch of rides. And I remember this one ride. I had a, a wallet in my pocket. And my dad was with me. He, that was the first time my dad actually went on a school field trip. Um, and it's so far, the only time, the only time that I've been on a school field, my dad's been on a school field trip, um, but we went on a ride called the Berserker, which is sort of like one of those swinging ships rides, where, and there was one point where it goes apex, where it, like, goes upside down, and I had both my wallet, which had, like, 25 bucks in it, and change, which I don't know how much in change it was, but some woman, some Samaritan, grabbed the change, but lost the wallet the wallet actually went underneath the ride it didn't jam the ride thank god but we found it even though the dollar bills were wet <laughs> okay so yeah it was a very fun time uh i don't really remember going on a lot of rides it was mostly just walking walking and more walking um but then at the end of the day we actually you know um, took a picture and stuff. I don't really remember much of that trip, um, because I really don't know why. I, I don't know why I remember the Science Museum over the King's Dominion, even though I certainly had more enjoyment of the King's Dominion trip than the Science Museum trip. I really don't know why. Beats me. And this is just an honorable mention that couldn't fit in here. I couldn't fit here. And that was the State Fair of Virginia. I've been to the State Fair loads of times. But the first time I actually went there was on a school field trip back in the third grade. So around the beginning of the 2010s, I think. Maybe like 20, 2011, 2012, maybe. But yeah, it was fun. And I actually, um, when I we came back, I was eating some cotton candy. I was eating cotton candy because I like because I wanted to eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 
but I had a lot of fun on those three trips. I did have a lot of fun. <sighs> but anyway, that is my little story, episode one for or episode three, I should say. It's like it's like season that season eleven debacle where is it season one? Is it season eleven? <laughs> it's that that debacle all over again. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little story. And these stories that I told actually did happen. They are not fake, they are not made up, they are actually real. So and just like with my Way of the Departed series, which Way of the Departed, you'll see an episode of that on January 2nd. Um, it's going to be sporadic. I don't want to waste the series out because a person only has so many stories to tell. All right. So there you go. I hope you guys like this little life story. I ho hope you guys enjoy more of these because I really thought about doing these. These are some of the content that you will see in 2020 um, for me on YouTube. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click on that red subscribe button and click on that notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.